Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> my vlog my way, right? I'm hoping this recording is going to be good because guess what happened today? I forgot the mic. No mic. So there's no wireless mic connected. And I thought, let's change it up today. So I'll do a walk and talk today. For today's vlog. Anyway. So, <clears throat> how am I doing? Hi! That's the kids. I'll see you in a bit. Ha. Kid time, big kid time. So on a workout today. Did I want to go out in the workout? Why? Didn't sleep well. So anyway, that's the topic here. I'm gonna talk about my sleep. Today is my vlog day. So how was work? Got up, productive, fully focused, smashed it today. Got home, thought, lunch. Yes, let me have lunch. So I had lunch. And after that, I sat down for a bit, started looking at my items that arrived from Amazon. And what arrived? <laughs> Remember, I wanted to do live vlogs on this walk and talk. So today I thought I'd switch it up. So I started to do a walk and talk live. But I needed some lighting for the phone because I tried to pair up this action camera with my phone and I couldn't see what's on the screen so I wouldn't know if people are online, if they ask me questions I wouldn't be able to see so it didn't work. So I decided, you know what, get myself a good gimbal, DJI Mobile 6 I think it's called, anyway, so I got that. Then I needed a light for the backlighting for the camera when I got it live front facing. Now. I got that, it's playing around with it, got it fully charged, so that should be done. So I'll try, give it a spin tomorrow on a live session, hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. Oh, any mood swings today? Yeah, a little bit. How do you do it? How do you solve it? Easy. Get change, get out. The kids like, can we come? I said, of course, why not? And as you can see today, it's not dark at the moment, right? before the day comes to an end so I thought I think I need to change my timings now that's what I thought to myself enough of this darkness all the time I mean it depends on what I'm doing that day but anyway so if I can get my shots during the day beautiful right so the gym progress I can't find one that's near to me look I ain't gonna sit there and get in my car go to a gym that takes me an hour just to get there because of traffic and now it's come back, that's just time wasted. I need to use my time more effectively and that ain't gonna work for me. So find solutions, solutions. Yeah, I could jump on my Harley and cut the traffic, but it's just, I don't need traffic. There's another solution. I found a gym that's 24 hours. So what alternative would I have? Well, it means waking up early. So early riser, get up and go, gym, then go to work. That could work. But it means I need to get bird early. And that's what I need to start fixing. So, got my food in check. No more sugar. No more carbs. High protein. So, how would I get my fix? Sleep. And I'm not doing too well, by the way, on that. So, it's just, I think because I'm doing the late night walks, I'm getting this, ah, uh, the itch, the itch. I'm getting these late night boosts of energy and it's just not helping so I think if I change up the timings of my walks that would help you know I'm gonna try either this week or next week ah, to do an early riser walk early morning catch a sunrise as it comes up today you got the sunrise as it coming down so at least for my vlog today you're gonna have as the day comes to an end. Get it? Right. Oh my god. This only happens when I hit record, by the way. Anyway. So. Anything to talk about today? Oh yeah, I have loads, but. Problem is, I don't want to go on and on or open a topic and I don't know what the mic's going to sound like because I haven't got the wireless mic set up. And I'm worried if I start saying something really good, it didn't capture anything, so 
So I'll just take it easy today for today's topics. Well, topic, because I'll stick to one. So, a question for you. If there was an opportunity came to you that, let's say you went for a promotion at work, right? And you narrow, it gets narrowed down to the final selection process and maybe there's two of you left, yeah? So there's you and your colleague that you know. Would you drop the opportunity and let your colleague go through? Or would you say no? I'm thinking of myself. Question, right? Now, what would you do? I'm guessing a lot of people say no, I'm doing it for me. Well, just to tell you and explain what type of person I am. That opportunity came to me once and it presented itself and this was for a company I used to work for years ago and the person I knew were friends, good friends, you know, colleagues. And he was like, yo, listen, would you mind not going through with it? I know it's between me and you and I'd rather get this opportunity because I've been here for the company longer than you. I don't mean it the wrong way, but I've been waiting for this opportunity and every time I apply, I don't get through. I was like, all right, if that's what you want, I don't mind. I mean, I'm new in the company. I was like, okay, I'll take a back seater. Again, there's a test behind this. And that's why I started discovering our people years ago. The intentions and is it worth sometimes giving up the opportunities for others? So he goes in first, does an interview, comes out. So I'm more happy for him because I know I'm going to fail mine because I want him to have it. That's what was promised, right? Comes out so confident and he just gave me a different attitude. Also, I was like, hold on a minute. This is not the same guy who was asking me, are you willing to drop it for him? And I was like, what? Okay. So then I was just trying to say, so how do you feel? What questions did you ask? Oh, you'll find out yourself. I was like, okay, cheekiness, right? Okay. I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna do this. I ain't gonna drop my opportunity for him. Even though I was going to, I said, you know what? I'm going for it. Just walked in, did it, got the questions, asked it, got the questions, answered them all, and boom, walk out, you wait for the results. 24 hours later, Guess who gets it? Me. Moral story is, sometimes you think you're doing people a favor. Sometimes you're doing it to help others, but they don't appreciate it because sometimes they show your true colors. They show their true colors, I mean. And I saw his true colors. And I was like, <laughs> sorry, but this position that we're going for is like a leadership role. And if that's your attitude now, I hate to think what you'd be like when you're with team. Nah, ain't happening. And imagine him being my superior is like, whoa, no, no, no. So I learned a lesson. Sometimes, yeah, you're being kind, but don't take kindness for weakness. People need to understand, just because someone's kind doesn't mean they're weak. And just because someone's doing something for you, at least appreciate it. Anyway, a story I thought I'd share with you guys. Right, how do I deal with negativity? Whoa, that's a long, deep topic because it goes way, way, way back into history, in my history. And how I always dealt with negativity at the beginning, I didn't. I just fed negativity, allowed it to take over my life, allowed it to make wrong decisions for me, allowed it to fuel my anger. Now, what I'm gonna to explain to you here, just for a disclaimer purpose, just for disclaimer purposes, I ain't mad. But I thought, what way could I, tell the audience what I'm trying to say. So, let's say I got four voices. Now these four voices, I gave them a label each. One, Mr. Positivity. Two, Mr. Negativity. Three, the Madman. And four, the Crazy Clown. Right, let's go in sequence. Who's the Crazy Clown? The crazy clown is the funny character you see who makes every people laugh and always likes to smile and laugh. Like a joker. Right, who's the madman? The madman only comes out if Mr. Negativity is fueled. He's got the energy pumped into him to activate the madman. And the madman is the one 
was always keeping your anger, you know? And you keep in that rage state all the time. You know, everything is just angry, angry, angry. Mr. Negative, Mr. Negativity, everybody knows what negativity is, right? Everything's no. The world's coming, you know, everything's just wrong, wrong, wrong. No. You want to do this? No. You know, how about this plan? No, it doesn't work. You know, always negative. That's Mr. Negativity. Mr. Positive, on the other hand, is the person that needs this fuel. Sorry, that needs the fuel. And that's how I, you know, manage all four. So who do I need to get rid of? Over the years, after watching Mr. Negativity being fed, he fueled the madman. And the madman was just told destruction. He was just rude, he was just angry, and he just wanted, you know, reasons to spark, reasons to respond. And negativity fueled it, and he came out with more negativity, so what action comes out? Everything wrong, everything against anything. So these two need to go. Now, if you fuel these two, I guarantee you, you will not be liked by people, you will not be a person to be around, and on top of that, it's just total waste of energy that you will burn. So, who do I keep? Mr. Positivity and the crazy clown. The crazy clown is the funny side that makes you laugh, makes me laugh, and makes everybody else around me laugh, and everybody just wants to sit there and laugh, because laughter makes you younger, keeps you younger. So Mr. Positivity and the crazy clown are best friends. <laughs> so, these two are my favorites. The other two, slowly, slowly, died as I kept progressing, but they're still there. And it just takes sometimes situations or memories from the past that ignite them. But then again, who takes over? Mr. Positivity, because I've been fueling him and looking after him for a long time now. Yes, negativity crept in my life and, you know, always looked for excuses for me to sit there and blame life or blame this or blame that. And I never allowed it. So, that's an example of the four voices, which I labeled. I ain't crazy, I'm just telling you. Because as we go later on into my channel and I start discussing more, I'll go into detail of what I mean. But for now, just give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Hope it makes sense. Makes sense to me, but I hope it makes sense to you. So, what did I learn so far on this journey? People like stories, right? So from a story, I think you'll start with a problem that many may face or go through and then you come the story pitch into this and in this story you'll explain and grab the attention of people to listen to your story and then the ending will always be the solution how you did it not the solution how it applies or works for everybody else but how you did it because ah, the etching everyone's different different folks different strokes remember but the basic foundation will be the same right so on to something and if you can share it we'll help so I thought yes I love telling stories because I can actually tell them good so I thought yeah that worked for me so the name of my channel right this is my story so whenever I used to tell people things about my journey or my stories I always end it by saying and that, sorry, and this is my story. And that's where the name come from, and that's how it stuck. So when I renamed my channel, I thought, what could I put for a name for my channel? This is my story, because I have a lot of stories to tell. To tell. Sorry guys, but I can't do any edits. I promise you guys, no more editing. So you're gonna have to bear with me with all the uh, wrongs and, you know, wrong words coming out when I'm saying things but don't mean to but it happens at least you're getting it raw I'm hoping you're enjoying it so far I ain't trying to confuse you but you know I'm just going with the flow how I feel 
and if you're enjoying it thank you and if you've been this far mad love to you and yes if you're new to my channel welcome aboard and if you're new no you can't say you said that see what i'm saying now i would have to do that right but it's got to keep free flowing so i'll say that again if you're new to my channel welcome aboard and if you're a return subscriber, mad love to you. You know how it goes. So, got it that way. Had to get out of the way because, you know, they say do your intro in the beginning, but I need to catch the people's attention in the beginning. So, that's what I learned. So, I'll leave that for the ending, I guess. Hope it works. Strategy applied, does it work? I don't know. We'll find out as I keep going on this journey. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> right. Met a lot of new content creators out there, new channels, and engaging with as many people as I can. Love sending out positive messages, love, you know, just commenting positively so it makes their day. And I'm liking it. And I see the response and they respond back. You know, that's another thing we talk about responding back. If you're a new channel, it's very important to respond back to people because it means you're engaging with them. You know, I used to get frustrated years ago where I'll type a comment to somebody and I just never get a reply. And if I did get a reply, it was just like, uh, you know, a standard reply, whatever, and that's it, goodbye. It's like, well, I just watched your whole video and it kind of hurt me that you didn't respond to me, didn't even acknowledge me. The worst ones are is when I don't mean this in a negative way, right? but they convince you to buy a product. This is another thing I learned years ago. So you buy this product because they convinced you. But when something goes wrong with that product and you reach out, listen, I need your help, hmm, the person doesn't even know you. But they knew you in the beginning when you was asking how to buy it and where to buy it from because they were you know, pushing it out to you and telling you how to get it and so forth, or what code to use if that's their strategy. But when it all went wrong, and the product I received was that's when I saw true colors and that's when I was like you know what I'm done I'm just gonna buy my products myself use them myself and that's it if I think they're good I'll say to everyone it's amazing I recommend it that's it and if it ain't good I'll say well it didn't work for me at least that way I ain't not being negative it didn't work for me because it didn't meet my needs or you know solutions to the problem but if it's something that I believed in a brand let's say for example that I can think that I think I could work with the company then I reach out to them and give them feedback constructive feedback not negative feedback and with that feedback I say listen I bought your product I really liked it and I'm hoping you can improve these things it's just something you know I think will help this product that's how I reach out same with cars, by the way. You know, one of the things I don't like seeing is, you know, let's say a first release of car. People moaning about the car. This is the problem, that's the problem, and it's got this and that. Hold on a minute. It's a new launch, new production. You're gonna have bugs and teething issues. You were so unpatient to wait for it, to wait for the second or third edition, live with it, enjoy it. You know, the company's gonna back you up. No matter what, if it's a warranty issue, they back you up. So, be positive. The moral of the story is, if you got a positive vibe or a positive energy in you, keep feeding that energy. If you hear the negative side, cut the supply. You don't need it. And if you got a madman like me, kill him. You don't need him. Because he only feeds off negativity. Get rid of negativity, you get rid of the madman. Because he's the one who just loves negativity. Kind of like Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. Okay. Tongue twists when things happen, right? But improvements. So far, my communication, right? I'm not saying that, uh, uh, minimize, I think. I'm hoping. I haven't checked it out. It's I haven't checked this video, I rewinded it to find out, but 
I ain't gonna look because I'm just gonna upload it when I'm done. And then I'll view it tomorrow. The last thing before I end this, you know, I'm subscribing. Well, let's rewind that. I subscribe to a lot of channels and I watch a lot of channels. But lately, after focusing my own channel, I'm starting to have no time to go back to the channels I follow. So what I do, balance it again. When I finish pushing my content out and, you know, updating my channel, then when I have the time, I'll flick through to the channels I'm subscribed to. But, uh, ain't easy. And now I totally understand why, you know, you may have a subscriber, though when they open their channel, they haven't got time to come back and check your content. But I'm still doing it. I'll still go back to check on the accounts that I follow and see how they're doing. Because again, I like seeing people progress and I like seeing people, you know, really develop. So, so let's call a wrap for today. I'm guessing it's a long one. Let me look at the time. Oh my God, 21 minutes. Guys, I'm really sorry. Again, the word guys. Look, I'm really sorry. But if you're here for me, you wouldn't mind the time. But I don't know yet, it's too early in to find that out. So let's call it a night, wrap it up. That's me, sign off, and I'm out.